Shares of GE are sliding despite reporting better than expected quarterly results, down about 5% right now. Session lows. The company posted a profit decline that was not as bad as Wall Street feared. The results were helped by strength in its aviation and healthcare businesses. It also surprised the street by reiterating full year earnings guidance of $1 to $1.07 per share, though. On the call, CEO John Flannery did say that he expected that to be at the lower end of that guidance. Also, that free cash flow in, from industrial operations for the year would be about $6 billion. Now, I spoke with GE CFO Jamie Miller just a short while ago about the quarter. She said, we're seeing strength in all of the GE businesses except power, that there is order softness that has continued in power. On trade, she said that China is very important to us. We're watching tariffs closely, that it's concerning given the fact that this is a global country that's built on free trade, but that they wouldn't move production out of the U.S. They have a global supply chain that's very flexible, so depending on how this plays out, they could shift some of that. I asked her about the pensions and the pension obligations. GE said, you know, is funding that $6 billion this year, but there's a lot of focus on that $30 billion plus shortfall there. Uh, she said she doesn't anticipate freezing the pension plan, uh, and that interest rates, rising interest rates, have uh, been very positive for the deficit there. She said all things are on the table in terms of GE Capital. They haven't made more decisions about those insurance liabilities and how they de-risk out of that. Uh, I also asked her about GCAS, which is the aviation leasing business, the plane leasing, leasing business that's within GE Capital and is considered something of a crown jewel, whether that could be on the table to be sold. Uh, she said not right now, that's part of the portfolio, but again, everything's on the table. In terms of oil prices and the results we saw in Baker Hughes today as well, rising prices is net net good and that Baker Hughes is well positioned in that oil and gas recovery. Um, but again, saying that, reiterating that they are seeing strength across their businesses, except power, and that they are laser focused on turning that specific unit around. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.